A couple of years ago, the Division of Fire noticed a, a pretty significant spike in our calls for service for, for ambulance transport. Really the steepest growth for those calls had been related to what I would consider low acuity responses. So responses for general illness, uh, which could be anything from an earache to a headache to uh, the flu. And so that helped us recognize where the system we had built over the years may not be matching what the demand was. In the last budget process, we had approved the money uh, required to purchase a new emergency medical dispatch system. An emergency medical dispatch system is the software package and question sets and prioritization of calls that an emergency communications center uses to triage the calls for service. So when you call the 911 center, when you dial 911, with the new EMD system, you'll get a communications officer that's trained to ask this set of questions, and that's really going to help us dig down into how high a priority the call is. <laughs> and what this allows us to do is allows us to more reliably triage the calls for service to figure out what is a low acuity call, what is a high acuity call, what do we need to send, how quickly do we need to send it. That was a critical first step to some of the improvements that we're looking for in the Division of Fire. That filter has to be reliable for the rest of the system to work, and that's all of what's coming together right now as part of the EMD project. What we thought would enhance our system is to add a low acuity response infrastructure, and that was really sort of step two of this EMS enhancement project. What that looked like was basic life support ambulances that could mix and mingle with our advanced life support units in an attempt to free up our high acuity resources for the, the other calls, the heart attacks and the strokes and the, the trauma calls that really require the highest level of training that we have in our system. The third component of these EMS enhancements is the creation of what we call our care program, and that's community assistance, resources, and education. What we're trying to create with the CARE program is, a, is a, a branch of our organization that connects people with the right resources or education or assistance and give them the help that they need. All three of these big projects are part of an innovative approach to respond to what the community is asking for. And we can try and find solutions that really get to the core of, of what our neighbors need from our department.